You know, my kids EJ and Merrill love to cook. Now, EJ's a pro when it comes to making pasta dishes, and Merrill has her brother beat with clams and shrimp. Like me, they were both born to cook. Today, I'm putting a unique twist on a go-to shrimp and pasta recipe that's full of some new ingredients. In some salted water, I have a little bit of uh, bucatini. It's a little thicker. You can see the texture here. We want to cook this al dente, and I have salted the water. To our skillet, good bit of olive oil, and we'll start by adding onion, a little salt, and a little bit of crushed red pepper, just to give it a little heat, but not too much. Now, if the onion begins to absorb the olive oil, I'm going to always add another little shot in here. About three minutes, we'll add garlic cloves that have been shaved pretty thin. And I don't want to add them too soon because I don't want the dish to get bitter. Now, to that, we're going to take some beautiful kale, just kind of pulling it apart. Nice. Now, we'll just kind of work that into the onions and the garlic, and it'll start wilting down. Now to that, I'm going to add a little bit of supasada or a little bit of salumi or chorizo you could use. My kids love salumi. Now we're going to sort of make a little bed with the clams. Now what we're going to do to steam them is we're going to go and take just a little bit of the pasta water. And just begin to steam. You can see how they're already beginning to start to open. Oh, yes. Now, when I get them about halfway open, I'm now going to add some pureed tomato and had some beautiful little, small little cherry teardrop tomatoes would work as well. And we're just going to add that in there. We're going to let this simmer for about two or three minutes. And then we're going to add the shrimp. And to the shrimp, I want to add just a little bit of essence to that. Season them up. Now we're just going to add the shrimp, and we'll let those cook. And you don't want to overcook the shrimp. That's why you're waiting for the clams to, to sort of open. Oh, yeah. It's a wonderful, wonderful dish. Now we'll check on our pasta, which is still very al dente. Begin to add the pasta on top. Now what I like to do right at the end is I like to go back and just add some olive oil on the pasta, a tiny bit of salt, and then we'll begin to just sort of turning it over. Once the shrimp are about halfway cooked, we feel it's been cooking. Now we're gonna take the pasta, making these little nests. And now right at the end, the best part is we just wanna finish. Oh yes, and is this good. You can see by adding a few creative ingredients, you can turn an everyday pasta dish into one that's inspired and new. My kids are going to enjoy this.